Hello everyone. I welcome you all to this lesson. Today I'm going to discuss on the topic Where do all the teachers go? which is written by Peter Dixon. In this lesson, I will discuss line by line explanation, word meaning, poetic devices, theme and moral of the poem. So here I begin. And before that, let me ask you, have you subscribed to my channel? If you have not subscribed up till now, then please do and watch the video till end and press the like button if you have liked it. So children, let us start with this beautiful poem, Where Do All the Teachers Go? This is a very beautiful and lovely poem, which is composed by Peter Dixon. First of all, I will discuss the title of the poem, Where Do All the Teachers Go? In this poem, the poet speaks about a child's love and curiosity for his or her teacher. For the little children, teachers are just next to super beings. They can't imagine that teachers are also ordinary human beings, like common people, and they wonder where do all the teachers go with multiple questions in the poet's mind. Hence, the title is Justified. Now I'll tell you about the poet Peter Dixon. Peter Dixon is a poet, painter, education and theatre performer. He has written and published numerous collections of poetry, especially for children. He has acted in stage plays as he was more interested in the theatre. He realized on the power of imagination to write poetry. He believes that people can be whatever he wants them to be using imaginations. Now a brief description about the poem where do all the teachers go? This is a very interesting topic. Like you all have some or other favorite teachers, right? And you must be wondering, where do they go? According to the students, the teachers are always perfect and they become our role model. For a little child, a teacher is a special person. It is difficult for a small child to think of his or her teacher as an ordinary person. Children, we have always seen our teachers being teachers. That is, guiding us, motivating us, teaching us and sometimes even scolding us for our good. But have you ever imagined your teachers beyond being teachers? For, ex for example, think of your favorite teacher or teachers. Have you ever imagined where do they go after school? Do they also hang out with their friends and have chats and, and have chats and ice creams? Had they been students ever and got scolded by teachers? How were they as kids? Were they naughty? Were they sincere? Or were they mischievous? For a small child, a teacher is always special. And it is difficult for a small child to think of his or her teacher as an ordinary person. In this poem, where do all the teachers go? A small child is thinking about his teacher. Like, where do they go after school? What do they do at home? Do they also do all the ordinary activities? How were they as children? So let us see what the child is thinking. Now I'll explain the first stanza. And the lines are, 
where do all the teachers go when it's 4 o'clock do they live in houses and do they wash their socks now the explanation of the first stanza in this stanza the child is thinking where do all the teachers go when it is 4 o'clock that means when the school is over this shows the cuteness purity curiosity and dilemma a young mind has for his teachers he wonders and questions where all the teachers go after the school hours now the child is wondering do my teacher also do ordinary activities do they live in houses and do they wash their socks the child wants to know if like any other ordinary person do my teacher also do ordinary activities like living in houses washing their socks that means clothes do they also do all the routine work like other people now the second stanza and the lines are do they wear pajamas and do they watch tv and do they pick their noses the same as you and me now the explanation of the second stanza in this stanza the poet as a child wants to figure out what do the teachers do the lifestyle of the teacher so here like any other school children like you change your uniform when you return back from from school so do the teachers also wear their home dresses home dress spend time in watching television wear pajamas refers to the clothes and do they pick their noses the same way as you and me wear pick their noses means an activity to waste time poking and inserting finger in the nose to clear bogus means dried mucus some children have the habit of putting their finger into their noses so the child is thinking do my teachers also do this do my teachers also put their fingers in their noses or pick their noses like i and you do so for a child a teacher is a very special person being inquisitive and curious they have too many questions to ask about the teachers further in the line of questions he asks whether they wear, they wear the pajamas watch the television do they pick their no- noses that is do they put their finger inside the noses like all the other normal and ordinary people like you and me now the third stanza and the lines are do they live with other people have they moms and dads and where they ever children and where they ever bad now the explanation of the third stanza in this stanza poet as a child wonders being curious and very inquisitive and because the teacher is really special the child asks the questions here if they have got any parents they live with other people if they have moms and dads and where the teachers also ever children and where they really bad like having any bad habits or commit any mistakes when they were young any time like maybe in studies or in sports or in other activities or did anything wrong or did anything wrong when they were children so in a nutshell the child is thinking do they wash socks wear pajamas watch tv picking their noses living with their parents and making mistakes now i move towards the fourth stanza and the lines are did they ever never spell right 
Did they ever make mistakes? Were they punished in the corner if they pinched the chocolate flakes? Now the explanation of the fourth stanza. In this stanza, the poet as a child wants to know if they also made mistakes or were ever punished for stealing chocolates or doing any silly or naughty things. Now, what do some children do? They quietly steal, eat in the class before lunch time. So the child is wondering, the teachers also do the same thing? Did they do the same thing? Did they pinch chocolate flakes? That means hit chocolate flakes in their hands and eat in the class. When they also punished, were they also punished for making mistakes? So these were more questions coming up in the mind of a child. He further asks if they ever made mistakes. Were they able to learn the spellings? Because you know, children often, they are very bad at spellings. So did they make mistakes and were they punished? Were they made to stand in the corner of the room as punishment? And you must have seen children gathered around when the cake is being cut. And you know, small young children, what they do is just they pinch the flake of the chocolates from there. So the child is wondering if the teacher has ever done that. Now the fifth stanza. And the lines are, did they ever lose their hymn books? Did they ever leave their greens? Did they scribble on the desk tops? Did they wear old dirty jeans? Now the meaning of hymn book means religious books. Green refers to green vegetable. Some children are like this, they don't like green vegetable. They sort it from their plates, but we should eat green vegetables. They are very good for health. Scribble means to write or draw carelessly on the desktop. Now the explanation of the sixth stanza. In this stanza, now the explanation of the fifth stanza. In this stanza, the poet as a child is wondering and further has more questions if the teacher has ever lost the hymn book. Hymns are the song that is dedicated to God, written in the praise of God. Did the teacher lose them because children often lose them? The child is also wondering if they left their greens. They were, their greens is referred to the green vegetables. Did they ever leave as a child when it was given to them to eat? It, if is also wondering, the child is also wondering, like all other older children, did the teachers scribble on their desk? You must have seen children in the class who is sitting idle may have a pen or a pencil or a compass in their hand and they just scribble those write anything or just make signs or just lines there on the table that is scribbling. So has the teacher done that when they were young and children and the dress Children, they have their favorite dresses, so they keep on wearing the same dress again and again, day after day. So did the teacher also do the same thing? They kept on wearing their dirty jeans day after day. So these questions, these are the questions that he is asking. The tender mind of a child is bothered to know if their teachers also ever lost their religious books and said no to green vegetables? Did they also waste time by scribbling on tables and wear torn and old jeans? Now I move towards the sixth stanza. 
and the last stanza and the lines are i'll follow one back home today i'll find out what they do then i'll put it in a poem that they can read to you now the explanation of the sixth and the last stanza in this stanza to overcome his curiosity the child decides to follow or spy his teacher on his way home from home after school once he is clear about everything he would also like to compose or write a poem about it and thinks that the teacher would read that poem to his student so he follows the teacher and this the poet is saying so who is i over here i is the poet poet is telling all the readers to all the readers that one day he will follow the teacher and find out what the teachers do and then he would be writing whatever his findings are in the form of a poem he will write and then they who are they they are the teachers and now again the teachers are going to read the poem to you now that the poem is going to be read by the teachers to you which the poet has written about the findings of what the teachers do so that poem is going to write and the teachers are going to read that poem to you and you are the children to readers here now the poetic device used in this stanza are number 1 rhyming scheme the poem follows the rhyming scheme of a b c b now the theme of the poem for any child his or her teacher is perfect and is not an ordinary person he would wear do all the teachers go after the school gets over he wonders where do all the teachers go after the school do they have houses where they live with their parents do they wash socks the child compares his own way of living with that of the teacher he wants to know whether the teachers are also whether the teachers also wear pajamas watches television misspell words was ever punished at school he decides to follow one of his teacher that day and find out himself what he or she does at home then he will write it in a poem which they can be read out to other children so from so from this we have the following themes number 1 curiosity curiosity is the very basis of a, of edu, of education when you are curious you find lots of interesting things to do curiosity in children is but an appetite for knowledge so the child here in this poem was very curious to know the activities of his teacher kids don't remember what you try to teach them they remember what you are as their mind is full of curiosity number 2 innocence the innocent child questions what teachers do after school are over and where do they go the innocence of children is what makes them stand out as a shining example to the rest of the mankind number 3 wonder the child in the poem wonders about so many things and questions on those facts for his teacher who are so special to them young children need opportunities to practice feeling wonder to develop their curious minds wonder is the beginning of wisdom number 4 cuteness and purity the child's cuteness and purity is seen when he considers his teacher to be a perfect person and not an ordinary one great teachers focus not on compliance but on connections 
and relationships because children are the hands by which we take the hold of heaven now i'll tell you the moral of the poem the moral of the poem is that this poem speaks about the child's love and curiosity of his or her teacher teachers are just next to super being for children they can't imagine that teachers are also ordinary human beings so dear children we with these words i end my lesson hope it will be beneficial for you in your studies watch the video till end do like share and subscribe my channel and enjoy this beautiful poem on the cuteness purity curiosity and dilemma of a child has for his teachers thank you